So I'm here today at the Salt Lake Off-Road Expo. I don't quite know what to expect here. I'm gonna go in looking for something that's interesting to me and, and to SUV camping, SUV RVing, road trips, stuff like that. I'm not super interested in, you know, rock crawling because I have a RAV4 and that's not really what it's made for, but let's just go in and see what we can find. I like how open it is. This whole side of it is open. That's very cool. Good size for two people. So I've never actually been in a rooftop tent before, but I actually really like these. <laughs> Lots of light. This is cool, this is a trash bag mounted to the back of a Jeep. It's called the Trasheroo, off-road spare tire trash bag. Got a Humvee here for sale for just under $24,000. A bargain. And these things are huge. You could sleep sideways in one of these. I want one of these. This is a road shower. It's a shower that you attach to the top of your car. They're about $300 online. And because they're black, the water gets heated up in the sun. You can make your own, but not, they're not quite as slick as this one. I just got out of the expo and I have mixed feelings about it. I think it was worth going to. The entrance fee was ten dollars, so you know, not anything terrible. I think the highlight for me was just seeing the rooftop tents and getting able to or being able to try those out. I've only looked at those online before today. Never actually been inside one. And I was surprised by how much I liked them. They're much more, they feel more substantial than just like a regular tent for camping. It feels um, much more, I guess, kind of comfortable and just like the kind of place that I would want to spend the night in or several nights in.
as SUV campers, as SUV RVers, we kind of have the option to go both ways. We can, we can camp inside the vehicle and then put stuff on top, or what a lot of people do at expos like this, if they have a Jeep or something like that, they'll, they'll get a rooftop tent and then put their stuff inside. I've only had first-hand experience with sleeping inside the vehicle, and uh, I would like to get a rooftop tent at some point just to try it out. I think that would be really interesting. Again, it was much more substantial and, and cozy than I thought it would be, and so I think I, I could like it. Other than that, there wasn't a whole lot for me there. There was a lot of off-roading stuff, like these big crazy rock crawler vehicles and, and big trucks and, and these big old trailers. Um, you know, these off-road camping trailers, which I guess are neat, but again, I have a RAV4. I'm not going to be pulling, you know, a, a trailer that weighs as much as my, my vehicle does. This is probably going to be a pretty short video, but I hope you found it at least mildly interesting. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.